doing today. I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving week. Today I'm going to show a tutorial on how to properly charge a hoverboard. Like times, how to like put together the charging piece, and really how it is straight out of the box. Alright, so right now my hoverboard is at low battery, but it doesn't say that right now because I just restarted it. So what you want to do is you want to wait until it's at low battery, which is probably going to take a while because the battery life on these things is pretty big. So yeah, you just wait until it's low battery. And then what you want to do is you just plug in the charger. So right now I'm going to unbox the charging port. Hold on. I managed to get it out of the box. Well, managed. And then this is what you're going to get inside the box. This is the brick. And this part is the part that goes inside the homeboard, right? Here. What you want to do is you take the other cord that's probably not going to come in this box. Depends on your model. And then you take this side of the cord and you plug it in to there. Like this. Yeah, just like that. And then what you want to do is you take this part, just plug it into the wall simply. And then once you plug it into the wall, there's probably going to be a green LED. Now that's because there's like nothing attached to the charging part. So once you put it into here, you're going to want to... Just put it into there, and it's probably not going to fit in every direction because there's this part that specifies what direction. And did you hear that beep? Yeah. So now the orange slash yellow light is going to come on, and it's going to indicate that it's charging now. You can't be riding the hoverboard because while it's charging because obviously it's connected to the cord, and it won't let you do that. So you're going to want to wait until it's done charging. And as you can see, it's a red LED right now because it's not fully charged. And the proper charging time for to put this thing into maximum battery capacity is two to three hours. You don't want to let it charge <clears throat> overnight because that kind of ruins the battery. And your battery life will slowly get depleted over time. Just like if you do that with an iPhone, leaving it charge overnight. It's not like terrible, but I mean, if you're planning on having that iPhone for a couple years, then you probably don't want to charge it overnight every day, every single night because that's going to be pretty bad. So right now it's currently 12.44 a.m. And it takes about two to three hours to fully charge. What you what you can do is you can come back in two to three hours and see if that LED is green. That that's okay because that's not like set six to seven hours of just useless charging. So yeah, I'm gonna come back when this LED is green. And guys, I also wanted to demonstrate for you that when you're at like twenty percent battery, the battery symbol will, will start blinking. And I want to show you the very, this is the second step to low battery. The first one was, you guys saw that it was, um, the LED was completely green. Like, let me show you. Here. The LED is completely green. That means your battery is good. Now, a few seconds ago, it was blinking. And if you restart it, it just completely, like, resets the systems. So, and then the second system is the blinking light, the blink, blinking green light. And then the very last low battery indicator system is the red flashing light. And that's when your hoverboard, you'll start to feel like some turbulence and it, it won't really feel right. So I'm going to try draining the battery to that red symbol. And I'll be right back. This is taking a very long time. This battery life is no joke. Red battery, and one of these days I'm gonna have to do a, a t 
time lapse and how long it takes to drain the battery fully. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, after like one million hours, it's finally at battery fully drained. And this is the last battery indicator before it completely dies. And it's kind of obnoxious because it makes a beeping noise. So basically now what you just want to do is take the charging port, put it in there, and now it's charging. I don't know why it's still making that noise, but... Um... This is not for here. There you go. Okay. We just found out a hoverboard glitch. And now what you want to do is just wait two to three hours until this LED right here is green. And then, yeah. Like I said, don't charge it overnight because that will ruin the battery. And... You can turn it off, you don't have to leave it on. It'll still charge. And I'm gonna fast forward until this LED's green and it's fully charged. So, unfortunately I got a little bit carried away with other stuff and it's a little bit more than two to three hours. And I basically did what I told you guys not to do. Don't be me, guys. Anyway. The LED is now green, and it's fully charged, well beyond two to three hours, even though it still says that, and, yeah, the LED is now off, and, yeah, I'll be able to use this now, and since I unplugged it, like I said before, the LED is just going to be green after I unplug it. Yeah, now the hoverboard is ready to use. That's pretty much it. That's how you guys properly charge a hoverboard. Again, don't do what I did and overcharge it for like five hours. Because that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button. You also might like some of my other videos, so subscribe to catch more of them. I have a tutorial up on how to reset your hoverboard so you can get rid of this annoying pesky red light. Yeah, because some people have been having trouble with that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Have a great day.